You guys tired of fumbling around with your keys in the dark or don't want to take your keys with you? Want to turn your home into a crazy smart home? Then this video is for you. What's going on guys? My name is Chris. I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. This one's going to be for a smart deadbolt lock for your door. It doesn't have to be your front door. It can be your back door, or your shop door, you name it. We're gonna install it on it. This is completely key free if you want that option. Also app controlled, anti-theft alert, auto lock, micro USB backup, touch screen, keypad, IC card, and fingerprint accessible as well. Now I actually got this in the gold color. I'm super pumped on that. It has gold accents around it to make it a little bit more poppy. They also have silver and black, black on black, and gold on black. Now they do give you the option for the manual key as well with a key insert so if you do want to have a backup lying around somewhere just in case they do have that option as well just like all my videos guys in the description box right below the video is going to be this exact same smart deadbolt where you guys can read more about it and pick one up yourself after the video is complete that again is going to be right below let's get this out let's see what we have inside the box and install it. opening on up you have your directions and your template for installation definitely give that a read if you do need to make some new drills new cuts follow the directions and pay attention to your template there if you're installing it on a fresh cut door with no trim cutouts yet very cool check out that gold look right there let's go ahead and get this portion out here first as we can see here we're going to go ahead and just put that off to the side real quick we have a screwdriver for installation we have all our hardware our manual keys our ic cards mounting bracket here we have our deadbolt that goes into the door here they also give you a drill bit that's really cool i have not seen that before with the company so that's very appreciative and here is our keypad here again with that gold and black look and then remove that little seal there which puts out a very nice keypad right there i definitely like the gold look i know gold is coming back in and that's why i chose the gold color here's your fingerprint option if you want to use that for entry the touchpad here and then under here which is just a cap that rests right on top of your manual key entry there on the back you have all your seals here and then this is going to be right here this is going to be the interior portion where this sits on the interior portion of your door here's your manual lock unlock right right here for your interior portion of your door. Here is your battery compartment right here, four AA batteries, which they do not provide. So you will need four AA batteries for this. Again, super cool gold finish. In here, we're just gonna go through this pretty quickly. Here's an interior casing for your door. They actually give you five manual keys, which is kind of a lot. They give you two IC cards. They give you a plate for your door for this here all your screws pins and all your installation needs right here and not to mention a screwdriver so let's choose which door i'm going to install this on and get going all right so let's look at my front door where i'm going to be installing the smart lock here this is my deadbolt obviously this is just my regular handle so first and foremost if you have a solid door use the template drill out your proper hole i already had a deadbolt up here i removed it very simple deadbolts will differ on the bolts but majority of the time only on the inside of the door there will be bolts to disconnect the deadbolt and then right over here on the interior portion there's going to be one and two take those out and then you're going to detach two pieces and then slide out your deadbolt now let's go ahead and put the smart deadbolt in so first thing you want to do is take your latch and see how it says the up right here that obviously you want to go up now this is available to go deeper or short it comes standard mine is this one right here so that will be the standard length as it comes now here's your back of it this is the interior portion of the lock and of course this is going to be your exterior okay so off camera i actually had to enlarge the hole just a little bit here on the bottom to be able to fit my bottom bracket here and my little top slip here so it sits flush. I'm actually not gonna be using that top one because I eventually am gonna be replacing this door with another one, so I'm not gonna drill in. I've reviewed other smart locks before and just using the bolts down here 
it's secure and firm. Obviously the third bolt would be even better, but that requires drilling into the area with the template above the deadbolt hole up here. Okay, so back inserts my deadbolt, my front portion, the wire goes underneath in my case, and then you have your little turnkey knob that fits right down the middle. And then your two gold screws go right through here as this is dangling here, as you can see why I enlarged my circle so the bracket could come in down below. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure our wire is off on the little slot right there. And then we're gonna insert our two tabs into the below section the silver section there. Again, we have to make sure that our wire is off to the side like that there. And then we're gonna use a couple different sets of longer screws here, whatever your door thickness is. And we're gonna screw that in there and the other side as well. And that's gonna hold the bracket. And then our interior portion goes over the top of this. Now, if you did do that top bolt with the drill, it would go right through there. Just make sure that before you tighten it down, give it a uh, test on both sides, making sure that it's straight and not crooked, the exterior panel, like this here, nice and straight, as with the interior portion here. Before I tighten that down completely, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little test drive here. Obviously the cable's not gonna be sticking out the side, I'm just looking at the straightness, looks good to me on both sides. Now we're gonna take our wire here, and what you wanna do is you wanna just lift weather seal up like this here, Put that down the middle if you can't click it in without removing that. Then simply click in your bracket and then make sure your weather seal, or I should say your door protector or whatever you wanna call it is on there. Sticking out the side here. Now we're gonna insert our turn knob into our area right here. All right, before we screw on the interior portion to this bracket here, if we lift up the weather seal, and the directions state this, so don't worry about this part. There's a little switch over knob right here, kind of hard to see on camera. On the right, it has an R, and on the left, it's an L for left, obviously. And that's to identify what type of door you have. So if you're looking at the keypad on the exterior portion, mine looks like this with the hinges on the left, keypad would be on the right, that's a left handle door. So flip that little switch over to L if it's that case for you as well. And then once that's taken care of, I actually use the manual key to test it and then also use this to make sure that is flowing in the proper direction. So unlock, lock right there, it's looking good. And the two top ones are these small ones. And then the bottom one that goes right down here, that's gonna be a longer one there. All right, I wanna talk about a few little installation tips for you so that you can save a little bit of time for some oddball reason if this happens to you like it happened to me. So as I was testing it with the manual key on the exterior portion, it seemed to be working okay in the unlock position, but regardless of how it worked, when I used the back portion right here, it would only go out like this much, like very little, like a thumbnail. And I couldn't get it to turn any more than that. What the problem is, the instruction manual goes over it if you do have that issue, but it's just easier sometimes if I tell you about it. So the little bar from the exterior portion, you need to go ahead and flip it around like 180 degrees, whatever direction it'll go, and then reinstall everything back in. That little bar that slips into your deadbolt here. Okay, next thing, we're gonna go to the front of it, and number one, looking absolutely super sharp. Love the gold accent. There's your fingerprint scan if you wanna go that direction. Okay, so remember you have your manual key, turns it, locks it all the way back around, and then you flip it around 180 to pull the key out. Once again, insert it, just a quarter turn, locks it, all the way around to unlock it and to pull your key out 180. We're gonna get into the app, but remember you also have your RFID chips to unlock it as well when those are programmed. Now I do wanna show you a couple other little tips. This is also mentioned in the frequently asked question card and that's where I had to go to for this. So to lock it, what you do, you hold pound for two seconds. Now I do a lot of construction, my fingers are a little beat up, so I'm gonna go ahead and go live right here with you. Sometimes you have to kind of touch it for about a second and then it'll light up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this light so you can see how bright that is. One, 1,000. And sorry, that's not completely in focus. The lights are kind of messing with the camera a little bit, but very bright to the naked eye, but not crazy over bright for nighttime. Once again, one, 1,000, just hold it and then when you're ready to unlock it, enter your code, directions say how to do that, and then hit the pound button and it'll go ahead and unlock. So let's say you're coming up to your door late at night, go ahead and just put your finger on it like a cell phone, it'll light up and then go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and lock it right now. 
and it says locked, which is nice. Remember, if you are not using the manual key and you want a little bracket over the top of it, line up your holes on the side here and here, and go ahead and pop that on in. I think that looks okay, but I think it looks really sharp even with the manual key being able to be shown. I'm not really too big into biometrics, so I'm gonna skip that portion. I'll leave that up to you if you wanna do that or not. My other camera ran out of battery, so we're switching it up. So if the microphone sounds a little bit different, my apologies. So I would recommend high-end batteries. You do have your battery cover right here. We're gonna go ahead and put into place right there. Now let's say your batteries go out on you. There's a low battery warning, but also, let's go ahead and look right here. Underneath, there is a micro USB port, and that's the speaker where it says it's locked right there and talks to you about administrative passwords, etc. So that's a micro USB. So if you had a power bank, that's your emergency power, which would give you power so you could unlock it with your key code. Nice little safety feature there. Now coming to the interior portion, I do like it. It looks very sharp. The two-tone, I think it might look a little bit too gaudy if it was all solid gold. I'll leave that up to you. Again, nice weather seal all the way around it. And then we have a button right here. This button right here pushed for two seconds. Even if someone that had a code inputted the code, they wouldn't be able to get in. So let's say you need absolute privacy and contract workers, realtors, whatever. You go ahead and hit this from the interior portion and their codes will not work. It's all stated in the instructions as well. All right, back with you here. So had a little bit of trouble pairing it with my app. Installation, had a couple corks on it. Directions are a little bit unclear, just to be honest. They could have done a better job with the instruction manual. That's why I make videos like this to help you guys out. So my phone was not picked Picking up Bluetooth, it wasn't allowing me to see this and be able to pair it. Now I have another smart lock that uses the same app. That wasn't an issue. It's actually not connected right now. So what I actually had to do, there's instructions how to do this without taking it off again, but it wasn't working for me. So I'm just gonna show you what worked for me. Underneath the flap on the right hand side, that little button right there where my thumb is, that's a reset button. You hold it down for, it says 10 seconds. Mine was actually a little quicker. And then you have to input the administrator password, which at the time it was either 000 pound or it was this setting the administrator password in their instruction manual, star 12 pound, and then one, two, three, four, five, six pound. So after I got that up and running, after I reset it, I was able to pair it to my phone. And then in the app, I was able to rename it. And so here is the main set settings right here. Tells you your battery percentage. I would go with probably rechargeable batteries. These are Duracells. They're older. They've been sitting around for a while. It says I'm at 60% for those. Let's go down to settings. Now in settings, basics up here. I won't show the top portion of it because it has sensitive numbers. I don't want to add on the internet. But right here, name. This is where you can rename it. I've renamed mine front door. You can group it. And the administrative password, mine was actually different than the instruction manual. So hit that if you're having trouble logging in for the first time to be able to reset it for the administrative passcode that you particularly want. And if you are wondering, I reset it with my batteries in. Obviously, I had to take my batteries out to unscrew it, put my batteries back in, and then hit the reset button. It's going to hold my codes in now, even if I take out the batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in first, and then take out just the right one, screw that one in, put that back in, that one, that one. All right, let's take a look at it here. So mine might not be as deep as yours. That's why there's a little crookedness here. That's unlocked. That's locked. So if I had it a little bit deeper, probably your door does, that would go straight up. Not really bothering me. If that did bug you, then you got to router out the interior portion so the bolt could go a little further back. I have the trim off of this right here. If you're wondering, I'm doing a full remodel in the house. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app. I'm going to go ahead and tap that, and it's going to go ahead and unlock that, giving me a chime on my phone, and then this is telling me it's unlocked. And then long press my phone, and it's trying to lock. And it said locked here. There was no chime or anything like that. And it gave me a little pop, 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 pop. So it seems like it's giving me only a here. Let's try one more time. Unlock there. Got it. And let's hold it down. So as you can hear, if the camera picked that up, it's just a beep, 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 beep. There's no chime on your phone. There's no speaking or anything like that on there for locked, just unlocked. 
There is an option in the settings for auto locked. After a certain amount of time, if you forget to lock your door, it will automatically lock it for you. Now a big key feature with this is sold separately if you want to do remote unlock it says it right there the gateway is not too expensive but without the gateway this is just a bluetooth lock not compatible with alexa or i believe google home as well you will need the gateway for those features that means that if you're remotely and let's say you have a family member or a friend that wants to get in you don't want to tell them a code, you haven't generated one for them, which is definitely quickly possible on the app. You can't remotely unlock it without the gateway, but you could just literally register a new passcode for your friend or family member standing outside. It just takes a few extra minutes. I won't go into all these in depth, but there's passage mode, lock sound. Let's take a look at this. So again, all we heard was a beep. My lock sound is on. If you don't want that, you can turn that off. You have tamper alert. I have that on. Privacy lock I have on. Reset button I have on. Lock clock. Calibrate your time, daylight savings time, etc. And the lock clock will calibrate with Bluetooth. I do want to find out if I can change that to 12 hour time, not 24 hour time. Well, unfortunately, I'm not able to find anything putting that to 12 hour time instead of 24 hour time. But there you have the other stuff there. Diagnosis, upload data, import another lock firmware update attendance unlock notification you could delete the device if you want to and i couldn't find the 12 hour in the main settings of the app as well all right so over here it gets pretty juicy we already saw the lock and unlock the big keypad right there in the middle now you can send an e-key you can generate a passcode that's where if someone's waiting outside you don't have the gateway your e-keys your passcodes right there your cards fingerprints authorized admin records and your settings we already looked at Let's take a look at records. It has all of the cool information here. I failed, I unlocked, I locked, I locked pressing the key. So all your records will be right there for the passcodes that you give out. So you know if your landscapers are coming in, your realtors coming in, your maids coming in, your kids are coming in, what time they're coming in, pretty cool. So with the app, you can take everything to the next level with your generating passcodes, etc. Very cool. If the developers do see this video, definitely integrate 12 hour time into the app would be awesome. Overall, I think it's a really nice lock. Definitely has some really cool features to it. I like the gold as well. That's a big plus in my book. After playing around it for a little bit, again, you just have to kind of hold it down for a second before it illuminates. And then you just do all this. And then if for some reason, operation invalid, if you type in the wrong code. So again, let's say your porch is completely dark, but you have an idea where the handle is. Then you just hold your finger up to it until it illuminates and then you type in your code ba 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 and then you hit pound and again two seconds holding down pound for it to lock or if you've stepped out on the porch just use the app but holding that down for two seconds is a little bit easier in my book i think it's a cool lock had a couple corks to get it up and running perfectly wish the directions were a little bit clearer but hopefully this video will help you out they do offer other locks as well different colors i will have that once again linked down in the description box below if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out it helps the channel and the youtube algorithm also subscribe if you like videos like this with tech also the house that i'm in i'm remodeling a 10 acre ranch farmhouse with a huge shop that i'm going to turn into a woodworking shop and full gym subscribe if you're into those type of videos also guys please don't go into debt for anything that i do make a video about but if you have the cash and it intrigues you go ahead and purchase on away thank you so much for watching again your links are right below the video take care we'll see you on the next one bye bye for now don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch we'll see you soon